is going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here please hit that subscribe button down below today's video we have a 350z in the wind tunnel did a handful of runs across this so we're going to go ahead and just dive into it all right so here we are set up for run one this is basically how the customer drove this car on track and our initial thoughts were it would be a little bit rear biased and you can see the numbers up here we were 187 pounds in the rear but only 73 in the front it gives you a 28 percent front bias so so definitely an unbalanced aero setup now this was a decent size splitter it was set up pretty good you can see the hood louvers are already on the car as well which do add to the front downforce so definitely some improvement can be made on the front for sure which is where run two comes in and if you look down here you can see we added some of our canards now these are a part that we make so i'm okay sharing numbers and as you can see one set of lowers brings the front up to we'll call it 117 from 73 which gives you a gain of about 44 pounds for just the lowers you can see that they're not overly steep at all and the drag picked up as you would expect uh, but nothing that drastic and you can see that the and you can see that the cars lift the drag goes up quite a bit just from that one set of canards and since almost all of our canard sets are dual planes we then added the upper you can see that the front picked up again we went from 117 to about 133 for an additional 16 pounds of downforce on the front but extremely interesting if you look at the rear 173.8 with two canards and 172.8 with one canard a lot of time dealing with canards people will mention like the air coming off canards will negatively affect the wing in certain cases or certain scenarios you have a low mounted wing or you have a wing that's really extremely wide or something yeah that could be the case but you know this right here disproves it where you know canards that loss of downforce in the rear mainly comes from the extra downforce on the front the leverage effect seen as less weight on the rear i hope that makes sense so pretty interesting the fact that we added the upper canards and picked up a pound of downforce in the rear plus an extra 16 i think it was on the front um you know pretty unique but that gives the canards a total of 60 pounds i think it was that gives the canards a total gain of about 60 pounds at 100 miles an hour which is pretty good and right about on par um, with all the canards we've ever tested so about what we expected there And one of the last things to note is the canards gave us an additional almost 5% cooling based off of the pressure probes on the front and the back side of the radiator. So then this brought us to the rear of the car. This has a, another company's wing on the car, so we will not be sharing that data. But as you will see, like any car we ever test, we always make note of wing angle, whether it has a gurney or not, you know, height. We even take a setback measurement from the axle center line to the wing to get our leverage effect. So to get this car balanced, we had a little bit too much in the rear still. So there you go. You can see we took a little bit of wing angle out of it. I'll go back and forth a couple times. That gave us a pretty good balance and will be right about what the customer will end up running our canards with less wing angle. But something we always do when we have a car in the tunnel is a no wing run. And you can actually, if you keep an eye somewhere over here, when I go back and forth, how much the ride height of the car moves. And this 
five degree wing sweep to no wing. So we have a no wing run, which lets us know how much lift due to the shape of the car, the wing is canceling out. The wing at zero degrees and the wing at five degrees. So that gives us a sweep across how much actual downforce the wing is making. I hope that all makes sense. And another thing I've been doing is every time we go to the wind tunnel with a car, we do this test. I've started to compile a spreadsheet of every wing we've ever tested to have a very good real world wind tunnel, the wing actually on a car, no CFD, free stream, whatever, real world numbers of wings. I'm not going to share that spreadsheet, but it's getting pretty extensive. So that was the point of the no wing run. You know, we're obviously not doing it for balance, doing it for data at that point. Another test we did with this car in the tunnel is we ended up, oh, there's everything on it. We were running through our thing of tests, which is why, you know, canards are on it. But then we ended up doing some hood louver test, which we'll get to in a second. And the next slide. You can see we ended up taking the splitter and the canards off. So since we have a canard number, you know, we can then extrapolate a splitter number. We don't always get the opportunity to test splitters because they're usually a little time consuming to take off. But as you can see, taking it off the front, you know, then we can kind of get a good idea of what, because if you notice the wing is off on this one too. These are blanked, so we effectively have a bone stock 350Z bodywork right here. And if you're curious, yes, the car made lift front and rear. It was actually quite a bit of lift at 100 miles an hour as well. And then lastly, hood vents. Right here are the race louvers, some stamped louvers, and some blanks, so we know the delta between all of them. And what we're going to do right now is jump into an actual tunnel video between these three. All right, so there you go, 350Z in the wind tunnel. If you're interested in any consulting packages, I'll put a link below. Al Watson from Race Louvers and myself have joined forces to make a company called Track Aero Consulting where we can help you out with your aero setup. Whether you haven't done anything on your car yet and you want us to kind of guide you along, you already have a bunch of stuff and you want us to go over and tell you areas you can prove upon, or if you want to take your own car to the wind tunnel, we'll even help you out with that. So that's where we're going to wrap this one up. As always, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, so it's getting late, so I haven't done as many videos on this one. You can see we got the wing off. We did a few runs with wing sweeps. Uh, we did add canard to the bumper. Right now, we're dropping the splitter. That way, we can get a splitter number. So, you know, we got blanks on it at the moment, but ran a whole bunch of them. So, yeah, we're doing a ton of tests.